every day. Um, and it's just because eyebrows kind of enhance the face. And mine's are pretty jacked up. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in. And just my, my way of doing it. So, um, I use like cheap. I don't want to say cheap. I want to say inexpensive beauty products. Um, so like this is from just the hair store and it is called, yep, yeah, can't see that, but whatever. It's, um, auto eyeliner by Ruby Kisses. So, and, um, it's a retractable pencil and it's actually, um, an eyeliner pencil, but it works for me. And what I do is I start with the bottom line that and I follow it and as you can see I went to go get my brows done and they wax it too far back and it won't grow in like because the one the actual time that I got this done they the wax was so hot they didn't blow it off enough and it uh burnt me right there and that hair it's gone forever but yeah, so I like to do both of mine at the same time just because they never come out the same. Which eyebrows are not twins, they're sisters, sometimes even cousins. But they will look similar but not exactly the same. And again, I start with that bottom line. Following the existing existing hair that's already there as your guideline so it's gonna look something like that and then I do the top and again because this one is pushed back so far I'm starting it a little past the starting point of that And my brows normally look pretty similar. So that's the top. Alright, and then I'm going to start on our tail and arch. So, I try to follow the hair that's already there. And, um... I noticed that my brows are kind of crazy um, like this one grows um, more rounded at the arch and this one kind of grows more down so uh, but hey so this is where we at we um, worked on our arch and tail and try to get those as similar as possible also this color is not black because not many people grow black hair, especially on their face. So this is um, black brown. You can also get a dark brown. But you want to get the color closest to your actual eyebrow color. But this is black brown. So it's just a really dark brown. Okay, so when I begin to fill it in, I don't want to fill in too much back here unless I see holes. So I lightly fill in the holes. And um, and then that's when I begin to fill in the front section. Now I notice that a lot of people use brow powder or um, eyeshadows to do their fill in. This works for me. So uh, again, filling in any holes that. Uh, maybe there from where you put your uh, guidelines at and fill it in, fill it in. All 
Okay, great. Now we're all filled in. And this one looks a little darker than this one, but I think it's the angle of the light because my light is over here. But, um, and I always do this check because I'm real symmetrical. <laughs> but just to see that your brows are lined up where they're supposed to be. All right. And what I do is I take an angled brush. And this, I don't know, I got this from Walgreens a while ago. It was a whole pack. I thought I was going to be on my pretend to be MUA. Didn't work. And this only thing I got left. But this is my uh, angled brush. And I use this to fade out the start of my brows. Because I don't like them really heavy straight line like that. It don't seem natural. So I use this to pull some of that away and I wipe it off and do it again. And all I'm doing is pulling away a little bit of the um, product. And it'll be obviously done to your preference. It's kind of like blending it out. I'm just dragging the color in. It looks like I'm getting like a unibrow. So I just wipe it away. And then I do it again just to make sure that it's how I like it. And then I use a concealer to go and clean it up, make it sharper. But they look pretty, pretty even to me. They look pretty even, so. Um, but I like to go in with a concealer to clean everything up. Um, the concealer that I use is, um, is MAC. And this is NW40 Studio Finish Concealer. Um, it is obviously lighter than me, so I'm going to go underneath with this. So it's kind of like a highlight under, um, under the arch on the brow bone. But the way I do mine, and everybody do theirs differently, but the way I do mine is... I... Try to go as light as possible at the start. And then just follow that line that we followed previously. And this makes your brow pop out more. It makes it stand out. It makes it more prominent. Alright, so... I don't like to do a whole lot, but as you can see, that is my line. And then I just pull it down. And when I say pull it down, I just take it and pull it down with my brush, blending it out. I don't like to have like this halo effect under my brows. It looks a little weird and unnatural. So I just personally try to blend it out as much as possible. But because it is um, a lighter color, you're still gonna get that highlighted effect, but not as dramatic as some. But again, that's a preference call and 
as you can see it's not unusually um, lighter in that area so bam. and I'm gonna go ahead to the other side And um, whenever I go in for concealer, let me show you how much concealer I'm putting on here. Because pr my preference is I don't like it really heavy. You can even, you can hardly tell that it's on the very tip. Because I don't want it to be too heavy and it wouldn't complement the look that I'm going for. And again, you pull it down. Um, this is the way that I do my brows every day. Even if I'm going out, I don't do anything more dramatic than this because I'm um, I like to try to keep it as natural looking to me as I can get it. And then you can go in with your finger to blend more. One thing that I won't be doing today that I sometimes do is um, when I'm rushing and my hand isn't as steady as I would like it to be, sometimes it's not as straight um, at the top. So I will go in with some concealer that is closer to my tone. And um, same thing, I will get another tip and I will go over and follow that top line and then blend that out well and you'll be pulling up so you want to have that angle this way and follow it like that and then bring it down and pull that out pulling it upward just to make it even to make it more clean um, but that's the way I do my brows and some people like it some people don't it's good for me and like I said at the beginning, you want to try to pull that out so that it's not a harsh line right there. And boom, that's me. Thanks for watching. You know what to do. Like, rate, and subscribe, something like that. Uh -huh. Mama said you're a pretty girl. What's in your head? It doesn't matter. Brush your hair.